Alrighty then, guess what day it is? It's the 23rd, and this is the 23rd Advent Box. There you go, a little turkey, or chicken, whatever you want. <laughs> Let's just open it, I'm not gonna embarrass myself anymore. Oh, what is this? What in the world? Ah, okay, I see, I see now, I, I completely understand. Yeah, judging from the uh, panel there, this is the Scalpel LE. This is a, um, I guess, an assault shotgun, right? I guess that's one way you could consider that. Country of origin, Murica. All right. Uh, date of manufacture, uh, fictional. And uh, yeah, look at this. Uh, from my, from what I see here, this is a, uh, this is like a Sega or a AA12, but fictional futuristic actually let me check out the gun for a minute okay we got a uh, safety here that's on the uh, left on the touchpad no down no up no right okay so this is only a safety there is there anything we can put on the stock no no you can't retract it or anything okay uh, there's a bolt here that I pulled back looks like it's an open bolt yep Pull back the uh, charging handle. Ooh, look at all these rails. Nice. All right. So let me just uh, put these uh, this drum mag in here. Okay. Pull the um, bolt back, and let's fire off a few shots. Oh. Whoa! Okay. This is. Uh, this is pretty cool. Pull this back. Uh, actually, what is this chambered in 12 gauge? Okay, so let's go to the item spawner and see if I can um, get some accessories on this thing. It's got a lot of rails, so I expect a lot of accessories. Let's go down here. Okay, let's. Uh... All right, let's take a look. Bring out the gun. Look at that baby. Wow, that is pretty cool. Okay, so let's do some, uh, let's do a suppressor first. Let's see if this uh, accepts a suppressor. It looks like it does. It's a threaded barrel, of course. Uh, I want something big and chunky. Oh my goodness. That is pretty cool. Let me close the dust cover there. Oh, open the dust cover, close it. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see how it sounds with the suppressor on. Ooh, that is cool. That is cool. Okay, um, suppressor's on. Let's do an optic. Let's do a holographic. Since this is a futuristic weapon, we're going to do a nice futuristic sight. Hmm. I guess I'll go with a big, chunky EOTech style. There we go. Oh, well, you know what? This thing needs a stock as well, so... Let's do a vector stock. Stick that baby there. Oh. Okay. Mm, not quite the style I wanted. Oops. Sorry about that. Let me just throw that trash properly. Let's try a uh, TSA G. There we go. Pull that stock out. Oops. And ignores the, uh... Huh. That's kind of weird. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with my tracking. Huh. Okay. I'm just, uh, checking out the tracking. It's kind of wonky today. <clears throat> Sorry. Um... Foregrip, foregrip, foregrip. What should I use? Something very, uh large. I like a large foregrip. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. <laughs> oh, wow. And how about some lasers? Let's do a tactical laser number two. Uh, put it on the side here? No, no, no. Let's put it on the top. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool really well 
and a clash light. Although, I don't think I'm going to use it. Since this is, I mean, it's daylight, or it's really bright in the scene, so I'm not going to use it. Just throw it away. Alright, so I've got it all customized and set up. Actually, let me check out the ammo panel here. And uh, let me mess around with the 12 gauge. Okay, we got a buckshot, cannonball, dragon's breath, machete, green confetti, buckshot. Actually, hold on. I, I want to do an experiment before I do anything. So this is a low-powered round. That means that you uh, you can't use these in automatic weapons because they don't have enough power to rack the bolt back after you've fired. So let me just try this out. The flare. It's either the flare, the uh, freedom fetty, uh, and I think the dragon's breath. I might not be too sure. But yeah, so we're going to try it out with a flare. Pull this bolt back. Oh, okay. Seems to work with that. Let's try uh, Dragon's Breath. Huh. Okay. Alrighty. That actually works. And let's try the uh, Freedom Fetty. Because I'll give you an example right here. Hold on. Just wait. Let me load up something that, uh, let's try a magazine-fed, uh, Sega. Put that down. Let's, uh, change this to Freedom Fetty. Kind of sacrilege, since this is, uh, you know, the great Russian shotgun. Oh, it does work. Huh. That's weird. Or was it, um... Flare rounds. See, now I'm making an embarrassment out of myself. I thought I knew, but I don't. Okay. Now that is so strange. That might have been a change right there. Let me let me do one more test here. Let's get the bolter out. That is really strange. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess... uh. What I said doesn't really matter anymore, since you can actually use those. Hmm. That's pretty weird. Huh. Oh well, whatever. Alright, I'm not going to use flares for this. I'm going to use, uh, maybe, uh, the Frag 12 or the Swag 12. Uh, high explosive? Oh yeah, that's the one I was using earlier. Okay. Let's do the, um, I forgot what this was. Oh. Hmm. oh, no. I don't know. Let's go, just go with regular buckshot. Oh, no. Let's see, now I'm, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> Which one am I going to use? Oh, you know what? Okay, hold on. Oops. One of them is going to be slug. There you go. Boom. And then another one is going to be a uh, double-lot buckshot. I'm just going to put this in a hole somewhere. Let's do the buckshot. And then let's do a slug. All right. Take out the suppressor for right now. Put that there. Hmm, not that much recoil. Although, I really need to test it against some bots. Oh, yeah. Doesn't look like there's that much recoil. Oh, yeah, there's a little bit of recoil when you get out the distance, but... That's pretty cool. Not that bad. <laughs> I just love how fast this thing fires. Bookshot. 
And you know what? I think I might do uh, a third third round. Let me see. Um, let me get the uh, swag 12. So, blue rounds. Blue shells. Okay. Well, you know what? There's no better way to test it than against bots. So, let's spawn some bots. Uh, I'm going to go against shotgun bots here. With uh, random armor. Health settings good. Let's do a lot of these. So, um, 48 bots. Let's take them all out. Okay, we got some guys over there. You know what? I'm going to use this. I like how quick and fast this is to reload. Let's go loud. It's time to, uh... It's time to rock and roll. Boom, all three segments destroyed. Got a little slug here. Uh oh. I can't believe I missed all that. You know what? Ah, no. I'm getting really close. Uh. Oh, you know what? Alright, let me just take these guys out. Or, they're taking themselves out. It is really controllable with one hand. Ah, uh, no. You know what? It is really controllable with one hand, so I'm just going to do uh, one quick major little change to my program here. And that is... <laughs> to spawn another one. Let's see, where is this uh, scalpel? Boom. I'm going to... Oh, you know what? Uh, I just completely forgot. Alright, since this is open bolt... You have to pull the uh, charging handle back every time it's empty. You watch. Reloading this thing is going to be really hard, so I don't know about that. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I just don't have space for uh, anything else right now. Uh, actually, sorry about that, but I'm going to put a laser on this thing because it needs it. There we go. Oh, forgot I didn't have a didn't have a teleport. I had teleport on. Let's spawn some more. Let's do uh, at least 21, and let's rock and roll again. <laughs> oh no. Oh no.
Yeah, reloading these things are pretty hard. Oops. I am getting stuck underneath the tree. <laughs> well, that last one was a little hard for me because I'm sort of reaching the end of my play space here. So basically, I had to almost destroy my controller by hitting the wall there. So I was like, oh, I can't step back a bit. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's pretty controllable, you know? Just the reloading part is a, a little bit of a hassle since, you know, the bolt. Uh, goes forward when you're done so you can't just put another magazine in and start firing again but uh, yeah it is a really good automatic shotgun the scalpel le let's uh let's load this up with uh, some some high explosive rounds here I really like how fast you can reload it too. Basically just jam it in there. I mean if you don't have like a uh, vertical foregrip, then all you gotta do is just jam it in there, pull it back, pull it out, jam, put another one, jam it in there. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Grabbed the wrong thing. I pointed the gun towards me. <laughs> Whoops. No, don't do that. You know, just do that really badass moves. <laughs> A flower of death. It's like a ballet of death. That's what I'm going for. There we go. Try the other one. Boom. The other one down. Boom. Boom. <laughs> yeah, it's really dumb. Don't do that. That looks stupid. All right. So there you go. The, uh, what's this called? The scalpel. L-E. Hmm, 12 gauge only. Okay. Redmond, Washington. Ooh, that's probably where the modder lives, hopefully. <laughs> but, uh, or the uh, modeler, sorry, not modder, modeler. And, uh, there you go. Stop recording. <laughs>